Hey, it's Mr. Marshall with Mace RCF Crew here. Um, we've got uh, Colton, John, and Ryan here with their version of the Mini Stingray. And here it is. Um, they did a fabulous job on this. Um, after doing some of our R2 days where we actually do some reading on some articles, they found out how to make uh, an airfoil out of folding up the uh, foam board. We actually got this from Flight Test. And um, they actually attempted this for this little teeny wing and it came out great. Um, this is just a prototype, so it's just using the Dollar Tree foam board. Um, I think with you know with all of it all decorated and, and uh, put together, this thing is pretty sweet. Super, super small, probably like a 25 inch wingspan, um, if that, um, by maybe 14 inches. I mean, just seeing it comparable to the kids. Super small. Um, but why don't you guys go ahead and talk about this. First of all, which one of you three came up with the design? Um, uh, me and Ryan. Yeah, well to start out, it was with me. I just thought of making a plane. I didn't know what to do, so I just looked up at the Viking I was up there. Yeah. thought maybe I can make a smaller version of this, and that's how it turned out. Sweet. And then how did, how did it go with the, the you know, creating the airfoil? Well, how would you guys go? Tell the viewers how you guys did that. Well, it was pretty simple. All I, all I did was take um, an inch piece of foam by like a foot, and I stacked it on top of each other, and took another piece of foam and folded it over. Folded it over? Yeah. Sweet. You can, you can almost see the hair, I'm just how you're doing that, you can almost see like the gap. You can see the gap that it was formed after folding it over that little inch flap that was in there. And then John, what did you do? Um, well, we created this. The motor mount? Yeah. Cool. And then the servos and stuff was, yeah, yeah that was sweet. They got the little embedding job because they were able to fold these flaps over. They were able to actually sink these servos in, and then um, these guys also sunk on, sunk in all their their equipment. So it's just a little uh, 600 milliamp battery and a little 12 amp ESC to go to this. I think it's a 1600 kV motor. Yep. Um, did their glide test before it worked out great. So I think this thing is uh, ready to go. I, I think if it flies right, um, they want to try to do uh, some cool looking stabilizers on here to maybe get this thing to do some VTOL action if we can. I don't know if it's going to work, but you know, hey, might as well try it. So, but other than that, you guys did an awesome job with this. It's a, it's a pretty cool little plane. And if it flies slow enough outside, maybe we can take it into the gym too and, and test it out. Are you guys ready to go outside and test it out? Yeah. yeah. Alright, let's go. Well, this thing flies. <laughs> um, it is still very, uh, it's, it's very touchy. I think you saw in some of the videos, John. Um, and, and Colton, I think that, um, you know, we'll, we'll do a couple more adjustments to it. I think it might, I don't think it's bowing or anything. It's just that these, you can see these flaps here. And you can see the big old bow on them. So I, I can't, sometimes I get the right, right little, Right, working on them. But other than that, it's a cool little plane. Um, it's so small, I think they could just kill the throttle and just balance it out and just flop it on the ground. So we'll, we'll definitely hook them up with the trainer cord and uh, get them flying this next time. So, a uh, little mini wing work, guys. Good job, man. Good job. Thanks for watching. Hey, it's Mr. Marshall. We're out in the park again. 
uh, with the trio and their mini wing. We've been doing a, a couple tests with it, and it's just from the last video you guys saw. I mean, it's really up and down, and it still is. Um, with a little bit of wind, this thing really just bounces around. Um, but we, what we ended up finding out is that um, out of just being funny, we put the stabilizers up close towards the, the main part of the body. It ended up being a lot more stable um, instead of it being on the outside. So um, we're going to take this thing up and see what happens. You guys ready? stabilizers towards the middle of the body worked out better. Sometimes it just has a mind of its own. <laughs> oh, that's cool. Man, this thing is crazy, bro. Good job, John. Here we go. Just wants to crash. Well, come on over here, Harrison. Um, let me turn this off. So, so strange. After doing it the first time, it flew really well, and then after that, it just kind of had no control of it. Come on, right? And then you guys decided, you know what, let's just mess around and put the fins towards the body, and it worked. Yeah. Like, like way better than what it was before. Yeah. To the point where you guys were actually able to, to fly it. Yeah. So, um, no, it's got a cool little little build, cool little teeny wing that you guys you guys learned how to do the airfoil and stuff. You guys did a good job. So what's your next steps with this build? What are you guys going to do? I was uh, thinking make to it a little bigger. make the same one and make it a little bigger. Just make it a little bit make bigger? This, make, maybe be able to make the stabilizer out it's yeah. if it's bigger. Try to get something that has a little more stronger, uh, <laughs> more level. Do, do these right. You know, yeah. Yeah. No, yeah, with the tape and stuff, you kind of get different, different feel for it. Yeah. Other than that, another nice and successful build. What's up, guys? Thank Thanks for watching. Thank you.